Welcome back. Um, if we get started adding classes, uh, this, is, this is your basic dashboard. You can see I have a couple that I've uh, worked with just to kind of learn how to use this. A um, couple options you can do. The easiest, what you're most likely going to do, is the Google Classroom Sync. You already have your students in Google Classroom, so it'll automatically link up with that. So if, so if you go up here and click Google Classroom Sync, I have a ton of classes. I just ignore some of these. I set up a sample one just so I can use. I put a couple fake students in there so we can look at it. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go to sync class. And then success. So that's good. Give it a second. So we can go back. Now we can exit out of that. So now it's that class is now on my dashboard. So that's one way you can do it. And we'll go into that in a second. The other way is if you do not have students in Google Classroom, you have to create your class manually. Like um, you might have a small group or something like that. Uh, you can create a class here, and they will students will be able to join by using this code that you make. We'll just do test. And then you can change this. We'll limit to how long your class periods are with this. But you can always go back and change that. So if I start this new class, there's nobody in here. They would have to join by using that code. Like you would have to give it to them when they um, are on a, a school-owned device and they have that little box in the bottom right-hand corner that pops up, the Aristotle box, they, that's where they would enter that code. Um, that is not the easiest way to do this, but if you have to and you don't have them in Google Classroom, definitely an option for you. So I'm not I don't have any students in here, so I'm not gonna mess with this one. But you can see it's there. <clears throat> Another thing you can do before we jump in, um, you can create an outline, which what this does is it says it's like your settings for each class. You can apply them to multiple ones, so you do not have to do the same settings over and over again. Um, you can change them. The, just the name for this outline, just like this. Um, description, you could say maybe I need this for my sixth graders. I don't want them to get on some, something they don't should be on. Uh, you can change your settings to allow everything or block everything except for the ones you specifically allow. Uh, that's totally up to you. Um, you can add sites. <clears throat> just that's just up to you how you want to do this. is just an option where you can apply this outline to your class. So you can just manage. It depends on the age group. depends on what you're teaching. Um, but you don't have to do that. But that is definitely an option. You can change how many tabs. If you don't want them to have 10 tabs open, you can have them two tabs. Or you can... Okay, so I'm not going to... That's just there. That's not the most important part of this right now. So that's how you create your classes and sync them. So that's it for this one, and we'll move on, and we'll get to the fun stuff next.